Hello, today I want to share with you a very cool trick in order to use the new sky replacement feature inside Adobe Photoshop to blend together images of the night sky taken with something like an astro tracker like the Sky Watcher Star Adventure. So buckle up because this is pretty wild. Let's get started. All right, so right now we are here in Lightroom. As you can see, we have two exposures. We have one exposure for the sky where the ground is blurry because I was using the tracker. And then on this other one, you can see that the ground is sharp, but the sky is blurry. So we want to bring them both together into Photoshop so you can select them both, right click, edit in and right now we are actually going to use open as smart object in Photoshop because that way we will be able to open the smart object and tweak around the raw conversion after doing the blend. So let's select that. So it opened up as two separate documents into Photoshop so let's bring them into one. So just right click here, duplicate, select the other document, OK. Then we can close this one, we don't need to save. And then we have both of them here in this one. So the top one right here is ground, we can rename it ground and the bottom one is sky so we can rename it sky. So place the sky at the bottom, place the ground at the top and then select the ground, go to edit and then sky replacement. And this kind of a dialogue opens up and as you can see we have some kind of a default sky to replace our sky in this image so let's give it a while and right now you can see what Photoshop did. It looks uh, <laughs> it looks pretty funny actually. You can see this beautiful sunset with our foreground right here and you can see some star trace at the top right here but it doesn't really matter. So right now you can tweak these parameters if you want. I'm just gonna leave it at defaults and the important thing is that you output it to new layers. Don't do a duplicate layer, make sure that new layers right here at the bottom is selected and just hit OK. And as you can see it added a bunch of different layers and what we want to do right now is we want to steal this mask which looks like this and apply it to our sky exposure and that way we will get a pretty good blend because between our two exposures, the sky exposure and the ground exposure. Pretty smart huh? So let me show you how to do that. So all we have to do is basically just drag this to the sky layer then we can delete this entire group because we don't need that. You can put this on the top and right now you can see it already looks pretty awesome. But of course we can refine this mask. So just option or alt and click on this mask which brings this mask. Make sure that you have default colors. You can hit the D key and then make sure that white is selected as foreground. And then we're gonna paint away those stars right here. So just paint those away, paint those away, take it as long as you need, just paint those away. And if you zoom in here, as you can see, we have a little bit of noise right here in our image which kind of messes up with our mask. So what we can actually do is we can create a duplication of our ground exposure, we can apply a whole bunch of noise reduction, then use this layer in order to perform the sky replacement again, and then use this mask in order to have this sort of noise-free mask. So let me quickly show you how to do that. So all you have to do is basically just go back here, delete this, then go to the ground, right click and go to the new smart object via copy. Then open this one which brings us Adobe Camera Raw and then scroll over to detail and right now apply a whole bunch of noise reduction. You can go all the way to a hundred and just hit OK. And as you can see right now if we zoom in here in this problematic section and we toggle this, you can see that this image with a bunch of noise reduction actually have definitely less noise in the image, which will render a clearer mask if we use the sky replacement. So let's do that again. Let's select this one. This is the copy with the noise reduction. Go to edit, sky replacement. And then again, just hit OK. We are going to again move this mask to our sky. Then we can delete this. We can delete this copy as well. We can move this up. And then if we examine this mask right here, as you can see, this mask is actually way, way cleaner. You don't have this noise in this mask. So again, in order to clean up this mask, we are going to use the brush tool on the mask in order to paint away those stars. We can bring up the flow actually to make it a little bit faster. So just paint those away. And then you end up with a you know pretty good blend. You know, definitely the mask is not absolutely perfect right here. But what is cool about this feature is that it is supposed to be a sky replacement feature, so it is optimized towards giving a very good edge around those trees. And the result is pretty amazing to my eye. And you can use the sky replacement technique in combination with some other techniques in order to make a perfect blend. And if you want to check out some other blending techniques that I have covered before on my channel, you can check out these two videos. And don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe right here for future videos. See you next time hopefully and bye bye.